a number of topics, including how to keep your hair, skin, and nails looking young, and even reversing aspects of that process. And we should say here, there's nothing wrong with things that are purely aesthetic, that only work to make ourselves look good, um, because those things might not impact our biological aging, but they can affect us socially, emotionally, mentally. They can make our lives better. So we're not going to poo-poo. I've used the word poo-poo now several times. So we're not going to denigrate interventions that are only aimed at appearances, but we are going to talk more about and center our focus around interventions that might also have an anti-aging effect. Exactly. And there are cover-ups. Uh, we can, we're going to talk a little bit about Botox and, and other creams. But really, I think what's most exciting and, and most uh, powerful are the technologies that are available now and shortly that can boost the body's ability to fight aging and even reverse it. We put them into a couple of buckets. We've talked about this in previous episodes. There's the adversity memetics, which we love, which is really slowing down aging and reversing it, or the abundance memetics that give you a short-term gain, make you look good, but long-term may not work or even have deleterious effects.